Hi, I'm Jake with Puck Custom Enterprises. I'm here today to talk about our new lead pump we have built. This is a SP5069 here, which is a self-prime 550 horsepower John Deere motor with a 6 and HTB 19 Cornell pump. This uh, chassis here is built in-house. We build these new chassis. There's a lot easier than with the car trailers. They're a single axle. As you can see on the sides here, we've got downriggers for leveling. We put our own four-wheeler ramp on the front of the trailers, and they're a bumper hitch. All right, here we are looking at the towers on our lead pumps. This is kind of the brain of our lead pumps. We also have them on our boats. It's got everything on it. It starts with the mobile star box, which is what runs the motors, which runs the gates, which runs everything. Our hydraulic block, which runs all the gates and everything hydraulically. You can also run them, run them manually if you need to, or off mobile star, which is through the laptops in your tractors or wherever you have your laptops. It's got pressure gauges here. You can look at your pressure gauges by sight or on the back side, it's got the sensors where you can uh, look at them through your internet and your mobile star. All right, now we're at the back of the lead pump. First off, we have our suction hose. PC makes their own vacuum systems for these Cornell pumps to prime them. We use a 10 inch suction hose on the back of this pump. As you can see, we, have, we build our own booms as well because these hoses are pretty hard to handle by yourself. So it's an electric winch. It's actually used with a uh, remote control in your hand. You can actually put these in the pits or lagoons by yourself if you need to. And so you can see if you're using this for a lagoon, we have our extension pipes that you can clip onto the end. It's all Bauer connections. Just clip on and add as you need for how big your lagoons are. We also have agitation tubes for if you want to use this. We have an extra valve here to run back into the pits and agitate it because they put off so many gallons. If, you don't, if you're doing finishing barns and stuff, you don't need to pump 3,000 gallons a minute to the field you can use some of that extra flow and agitate back into your pits. Then we have off the, the pump to the chrome flow meter. We always put a flow meter on the lead pumps and in the tractor so you always know what's going on, which is also run through Mobile Star. So if you have Mobile Star in your tractors, the flow meter on your lead pump will read in your Mobile Star monitor. So you'll be able to tell what your flow is at site and in the field so you can always monitor whether or not you have a problem. We started putting the pig launchers on these too, so you can shoot the pigs more efficiently at the end when you're ready to blow the lines out. And everything, all these gates are all run off the hydraulics as well, and you can also use uh, run those through Mobile Star if you have Mobile Star. It's all just push button, all hydraulically ran.